I haven't made a video in a little while, about three weeks now. I've been busy making ozone units and also I did some work for the radio stations and also I am building a website. I've got it uh, about 99% done. It's on the air. But I thought I'd show you this web builder. I really like it. And it makes things so easy, particularly in building forms. I bought this new web builder. That's what I've been doing instead of electronic stuff. But we will get back to that uh, very soon. It is W-Y-S-I W-Y-G. What you see is what you get. And I really like this web builder. Uh, let me give you a, a few examples of how easy this is to use. Let's start with a uh, new. Okay. And let's start with the HTML hypertext markup language. Just click on that and then we can pull it out to the size that we want. That's good enough. Let's go back to the top and let's put a heading up here. Let's see. Let's change that to my web site. Oops. Got an extra E in there. There we go. And let's put it in the center. And let's see, we can bring that up a little bit. Move that about right there. That looks good. Now, I can view this anytime in a browser by going up here and just hit preview. This I really like. And there we are in a browser. But let's see, let me close this. Um, previously I had uh, edited some pictures. So let's put them in this website here. Let's do photo gallery. Just click on that over here. And let's draw it up a little bit. Double click. And I've got four pictures, eight altogether if you include the thumbnails. So let's quickly add those. And here's the big picture and the underscore T is the thumbnail. We'll do the big picture first. Okay, then you click on that, do an edit. Here's the big picture. The one below it you can see is if you want to use a thumbnail. You don't have to, but it does load quicker if you use thumbnails. So that's one. And we'll just quickly add these others. Hopefully I won't mess it up by trying to do it too fast. And hit the T. Uh, open. Whoops. Should just hit OK. Let's add this one. Then open and click on it. Do an edit. We'll hit the thumbnail. Hit OK. Add. Open. Click on that and we'll add the thumbnail. Open. Okay. So we should have everything there. Okay, well, of course I'd prefer two by two or let's make it four in a row. So we go back here and we change this to a four. 
and now we got four and of course we can make it bigger just by pulling on it it's real easy to do and get this sort of in the center something like that and let's preview this okay click on it and there's the overall pictures Oh, Fender JS Bass. Okay, well, it's off to one side. Let's see, let me close the browser. Um, to have this website stay in the center of the page, you click on page and then you go to page properties and down here it says center page. Okay, and let's change the name of this to REO. And now, let's see, I like to put a border around these pictures too. So let's go to style. And let's see, width of, uh, well, let's say four. Okay, they got a border around it. And let's fuzz this up a little bit too. Let's see, oh, back to style. And let's see, where did I see that? Oh, blur right here. Let's do a five. And you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, now it didn't show up here, but let's do a preview again. and it does show up here when it's in the website and as you saw I can make this much bigger just by pulling on this move this up and let's see let's stretch this out a little bit more make it oops I happened to hit the HTML instead of the picture so if we do a control Z the undo button is your friend okay that looks good now there's just all kinds of stuff that you can do uh, the website I built uh, we had a couple of forms and I hit form and we can just put that right here and um, let's see if you wanted to check box uh, that's real easy to do and just draw them up the size that you want and to define them all you have to do is double click and this is check box one do you want it checked or not well, let's say we don't want it checked Okay, we'll go back here and now it's not checked. And let's say we want to see it a little bit darker. Um, let's see. Background border, here it is. Let's just change that to black. Okay, and of course out here you'd label it whatever it's going to be. And then you do the same thing here the value like uh, buy or something like that and then you do the same thing here on the title I'm not going to take the time to do that but you can see this is a, a real easy way to build a form and of course if you're going to have a form you have to submit it so I'm going to hit button here and there's our submit button same thing you just click on it, you name the thing, uh, let's call it uh, send email. And I'm going to call this the same thing rather than type it in. Let me do a copy, paste, and we'll put the title in here, paste. 
and notice that this is on submit okay and now we got send email when you're done with all the form stuff that fill out now we could make it a reset button also or just a normal button but we'd want to submit the form and so this makes building forms real easy and let's say and uh, once you have the form built it's real easy to move around notice that moves everything around that's in that form just wonderful and this builder has all kinds of stuff let's see here I'm just going to show you one more thing oh here we go ready to use JavaScript okay let's put that right here okay and here's all the JavaScript stuff that you can use it's quite a bit of it let's just do basic clock okay now over here it's showing you the time it's getting it from my computer of course and um, Let's take a look at it. Let's just do an OK. Now well, that's pretty small. Let's change the size of the font. Let's try 24. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, eh, we can go up bigger than that. Let's do a 36. There we go. All right. Put that in the middle. Okay. And, well, we'll leave the form in there so you can see what it looks like. All you'll see is this button that I didn't label yet and this. But you'll notice that when we take a look at it in the browser, it immediately gets the correct time from my computer. So let's click on this, throw it in the browser. There it is. This web builder is really, really nice. I highly recommend it. It is really good. Do that one more time. Oh, probably one more thing. Um, how to get it on the server. Well, there's a few ways you can do it. Uh, probably one of the easiest ways is just to hit publish. And that will do the entire site. You can pick just one page, which this is, but it's the same thing in this case. You can add pages over here if, you, if you'd like. But this one page is good enough. And all you have to do is say publish. And there it is. Now where that is on the computer. Bring this down. Bring this down. It is on the C drive under local publish. Right here it is. Here's all the code. This is cascading style sheet another cascading style sheet and here is the index now i could have changed the name of it uh matter of fact i could do that right now actually let's just rename that reo and this will bring it up in chrome i'll just run it on the computer but this would be the same thing as pulling it down from a server. Thanks for watching.